Hello everyone, and welcome to All The Mods 9. We are back. It feels good to be back, I'll tell you that much. Uh, and we've got a crazy structure over there. Actually, it looks familiar. I think they have like a beacon in the middle normally. I do have shaders on, but I guess that doesn't really help. There's no beacon um, otherwise. There is some sort of tower over there we're going to probably check out sooner rather than later. Um, what biomes do we have around us? Um, a redwood forest? Is that what we're looking at? No, that, that looks more like redwoods over there. I guess we could probably just run a few meters to get here. Um, but yes, we are in Old Mods 9. Um, this is Jacaranda Logs. Ooh, I want to use these. I, d I don't know what they're going to look like. Oh, they look um almost like coconut, but a tree. You know what I mean? <laughs> that somehow makes sense. So, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll probably try those out. Um, as you can see, obviously, we've got some familiar mods like Ultimine, which lets us chop down these massive trees. I will, however, get an axe. Um, main reason is, I think, if you use a tool, maybe it doesn't use as much of your hunger to chop down the entire thing. I'll be honest, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just hoping that that's the case. Um, but let's be honest, I have no clue what I'm doing here. Um, at the very least, I can pretend that it does something. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, now, yeah, I mean, it's all the mods. I, I don't know what else to tell you. It is early on in the mod pack, so if you're watching this in the future, um, things are probably very different when you start. I'll start heading over there, so I'm not just doing nothing while I'm talking to you guys. Because, um, you know, where's the fun in that, I guess? <laughs> um, is that... Oh, yeah, I just realized on the map, this is what we're looking at. Okay, I I'm getting acquainted uh, with my surroundings. Well, one thing I will do is... I don't know if you guys can even see it on your screen, but um, this is like the journey maps, right? Or is it, or is it Xerox maps? It's some sort of map. There's a zombie somewhere. Um, and it has like a grid on it. And there's a way to get rid of that. J. And then options. And then mini map. And then show grid. And uh, show grid. And then there's another one. The reticle. I tell you. You get rid of that stuff. And the map just... It, it looks just slightly better. <laughs> and, it, and it makes me feel good. Alright, so... Not only do we have some sort of thing that's just sort of spawned in a very awkward position, but it's kind of like the, the world gen tried to support it, but then it, it gave up. It was like, look, that's the best I can do. And I, oh, I was going to say, and I, and I can't blame it, but then it throws this one in. I, I should mention as well, you may notice this door opens pretty cool. I couldn't help myself. Okay. I added in a few mods that I wanted to add in. Um, so the physics mod, this one is available, the full version as well for free nowadays. Um, probably linked in the description. The pack will be linked in the description. There's a hidden thing. I think this is a vanilla structure or at the least I've seen this before, <laughs> whatever it may be. And typically there's a witch and yeah, I was going to say in zombie and zombie villager, but no witch. We've got loot R, so we've got loot chests. Here we go. I'll, I mean, I'll take it. I, I might not use it, but I'll take it. This guy doesn't have a profession. You probably get a lot out of that. Um, I've lost all train of thought. I was I, I feel like I was talking about something important. It's gone. It's gone. I don't know what it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the mods I've added myself. So I, I think that's the only one I've added outside of... Um, there's already an extras mod that adds like the ability to turn off particles and animations for certain blocks. That's like a Rubidium Extras. I added the Rubidium extras I'm used to, which not only adds like, you know, these uh, entity culling things, which is really good late game um, in these beefy mod packs. You can turn off like um, block animations and stuff and ooh, makes your game run flawlessly, even in big bases. I <laughs> Obviously useless to you on day one, but borderless, borderless uh, windowed. And it's like proper borderless windowed. I, I can't live without it. Um, but yeah, all the mods night. There's no quest book as of yet. Um, but I couldn't help myself because it's been a while. I didn't do all the mods eight, but I did seven and six, which, ah, oh, that's gonna, hmm. I don't... Oh, is this a pillagery outpost or just villagers? I assume villagers. You guys can see, right? Yeah, I think you can. But in saying that, I'm hearing lots of pillager sounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, ah, <laughs> okay. Look, normally they have axes, don't they? That one has a proper... He has a sword. You know what? I will... Just real quick. Sorry for screaming. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Um... Yeah, and it's... Born okay, yeah. Ah! Um, I will actually go back up there real quick. And I'll take their wheat. Because I think that will benefit us, um... Quite well. I do hear villagers. Are they... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. Uh... 
We'll be back. I might head up here. There might be like a loot chest for me, maybe. If we're lucky. Yep, there is. Beautiful. What are we getting? Oh, that's pretty good. Crossbow. An annoying horn. You ready? If we weren't sure about the audio levels before. Oh. It was beautiful. <laughs> I thought it was going to be an annoying sound, but it... it oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, okay. Cool. I can't do this. Okay, there's going to be a lot of that. Um, In general, this... this uh. This playthrough, I hear a bee. And I wanted to look for it. Is it? In, am I hearing things or is? I saw a bee before. I wanted to look at the bees. Uh, but yeah, it, it, listen. If you're not down for that, I apologize. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next series. But if you know, it, it'll it'll get better. Um, normally I have like a goal in the in the early days of these episodes in terms of like what I want to get done. The smartest thing to do would be to get my hand on some wool, just so that we can skip the nights, because it is just me on the server at the moment. I don't know if we've got our server set up for um, other people just yet, as of recording this. Hopefully, by the time it's uploaded, we'll uh, have everything, you know, proper <laughs> and, and, and ready for the influx of people. Um, this, of course, being just my little community uh, YouTube server. Um, not official or, or by any means. <laughs> I don't want to... You know, have any false promises. Uh, I, I don't know where I'm going. I, oh, a meteorite. Yeah, okay, okay. I, oh, and, and a sheep. Um, instantly, I, I know what we must do. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, the, the physics mod I mentioned, it also does some fun little ragdolls and stuff. Um, one sheep? Oh, okay, so this is a meteorite, right? From uh, Applied Energistics, I would assume. Which is important. You, you need one of these to sort of get started with the mod. Um, it looks a lot cooler than the meteorites I've seen before from the same mod. This one has some obsidian, which will be very, very handy early on. As well as like some soul fire, soul sand even. I mean, hey, not needing to go into the um, nether to get your hands on that stuff. Surely pretty good. Um, one sheep over there. Some fish blobbing around <laughs> making ripples and stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, plenty of sheep. Okay. I, di I didn't want to run across just for one sheep. Oh, and our, our first bee. Hold on. This is big. <laughs> I, I feel as though bees are going to play a pretty big role. Who's our first one that we meet? I don't even get to see him. He's... What do I have? What do I have to place? Come on. What are you? You are a green carpenter bee. That's beautiful. <laughs> awesome. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah. It, it, blah, blah, blah. In the past, in previous packs... The, uh, the different bees gather different things based on what they are. You can usually look them up. Like if I search carpenter um, bee, we can look over here. Green carpenter bee, we can right click on it. Um, you can see it breeds to get a lumber bee, for example. And this bee by itself does nothing. Allegedly, it'll just make normal honey. Um, yeah, cool. But if you breed it with a yellow carpenter bee, you get a lumber bee. And that's where it gets interesting because this guy, he'll just, he'll just make logs. Instead of honey, which is pretty good. Because um, that's, you know, it's like a little tree farm in the form of a bee. Um, so I'm going to eat some of these berries. You do need to be careful. Or maybe you don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, these... Clears poison when eaten. Oh, nightshade poisonous when eaten. I'm like, one of these berries that's purplish poisons you. Yeah. All right, sweet. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll eat berries and I'll meet you guys on the other side of this river. Now, another thing I should say um, early on in this pack is that because there are going to be a lot of updates, I would not be surprised and, and we're sort of anticipating um, map restarts, right? Like, things are probably going to change, right? There'll probably be like a new ore from some mod added and maybe there's a way to get around that, but th there'll probably be a, a map restart. So just when you're designing your bases, if you do happen to join us or whatever, um, keep that in mind in terms of... Not in terms of not building a nice base, but in terms of... Um, Maybe making it modular so that you could easily uh, schematic it back. Possibly with create, which I think was recently added to the um, uh, to the mod pack. Um, you can obviously schematic up your base and move around. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking about all the just... I'm just being boring. Episode 1 and I'm being boring. Oh, who is this guy? Alright. I, th I thought that was a solar panel. And I'm like, who's played on this server and gotten a sulfur? Okay, okay. Listen, listen, that's fine. Um... What do we think in terms of in terms of starting? I kind of want to be near the meteorite. Maybe we just do it. But the problem I have is the buy it. Like, 
the visuals of the actual biome, it's not the prettiest thing ever, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, like, the game's pretty, but I don't know, I, I don't want to- Oh! Waster! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting distracted. Broken portal. Oh, there's some really good stuff. Um, but like, I don't what, just want to live on a plains, you know what I mean? You know what, maybe... Maybe we live underwater. <laughs> I say this knowing full well that, like, the chances of it actually happening are slim to none. But I I'll give you guys some false promises, you know? I'll, I'll speak wonders of this underwater kingdom um, that I'm going to put together. And we'll, we'll see if it happens. How does that sound? All right, first thing I'm going to do, though, is get a hold of some stone. Um, probably just over there, so I don't have to dig up the grass, even though it would probably be only two little blocks. And we'll, we'll try to get a base started. Oh, what do we have? Tin and copper right next. All right, so we could already do like um, bronze or something if we wanted to. Let's break that pickaxe so we don't have to lug that around. Pick up 59 cobble. Don't mind if I do. Um, and then we can make, you know, proper tools. For example, this guy, I think he would need... Oh, maybe he could have used a wooden pickaxe. But I assumed he was going to want, a, you know, a, a better pickaxe. So I went for it. Why not? Um, while we're at it, we might as well get ourselves a sword. And... Finally, sort our inventory out ever so slightly, just so it's a little bit nicer. All right, the waystones, how do they work? Um, they let you teleport to one another. So for example, if I have one here at my base and then I travel to a village or something, usually villages um, have one in there like town center, I could right click on that guy. And then depending on the config, you can use your levels to um, teleport between. It's pretty good. All right, I might actually go and grab the uh, the copper and tin. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do this first episode. How much copper? Oh, how much coal? Seven blocks. Um, th this thing I'm doing here where I'm mining all the blocks, it is tilde, which is this key here or this key in the top left of your keyboard just under the escape key. Uh, usually that's like the biggest question on these first episodes. So that's how you do that. You hold that down while you're mining um, and it'll show up in the top left what you're doing. There's also, you might notice that other thing is sort of in the way, like telling me what the stone is. You can configure that as well. I believe in controls, keybinds. Oh, oh, it looks different. Um, category. And then if we search the one probe, so you can see this one here, the one probe. Um, what we want, huh, is none of these. <laughs> I don't think we want any of this. Maybe this one, I'll try it. We'll keybind it to one, so toggle visibility. You know, that just turns it off and on. I think what we really want then is to go into the mod config, which you can do from this button. Look, that's a tutorial episode, apparently. Um, oh, I feel like this is such a horrible first episode. It, look, it's fine. Listen. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's fine. I'm just going to continue. Access configs of other mods. Uh, mods. The one probe, you can open it up. Uh, client config. And then you can literally just change where you want it to be. So the box offset. Um... Huh? The distance to the left side of the screen? The distance to the right side of the screen. So I think I could just set this to zero <laughs> and pretend that that's going to do something. I really didn't, did it? But a, but a boy can pretend. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it. <sighs> Listen, it's it's fine. It's fine. The, the point is there, okay? But yeah, you can mine up some stuff. So we've got some copper and some tin. <laughs> that's all right, we'll grab the rest of this coal as well. Um, all right, sweet. So do we have copper? Yeah, copper, tin. Tin looks like snow because the, the part of the tin that makes it look like tin is hidden behind the, the 45. Um, and we'll head back to the meteorite um, sort of by this uh, water part over here and we'll, uh, I guess, set up shop. This is, uh, this is nice. I, I, I'd like the steepness of this hill next to the water. And then... Oh, what do we have over here? Y you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Th this actually, this place isn't actually too, too here. I can work with this. <laughs> I I'm pretending like I've got massive plans. I'm just going to be building houses wherever I can. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, look, you you're not in for a show. I think if we press M, top left claim chunks, we can actually go ahead and uh, holding left click, sort of claim where we want. So this place looks nice. I won't take too big of a claim. Um, yeah, because then, I don't know, maybe people can live close enough that I'll be able to see them like on the other side of the river or, or elsewhere. Is that two meteorites? We must investigate. Oh, 
Oh, I don't... Yeah, it's like a meteorite on a hill. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um... <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> let's, set, let's set up a shop. Okay, let's set up just a... Just an early camp. So that... So that we've done that, at least. And I can, you know, check that off my pretend checklist. Um, so up here. Crafting table. We've got, um... A waystone. Dewey's home. Uh, Dewey's abode. That's a word, right? <laughs> so yeah, if we find more, we can go there. Um, a bed. Um, yep, we'll have that. <laughs> there. Beautiful. Nice. It's all coming together, I know. You guys are thoroughly impressed, aren't you? Um, okay. And then we need some storage. <laughs> what, what do we have for storages? Do we have crates? We have crates from Mr. Crayfish. They're going to cost logs and uh, planks. But it looks like it's all like vanilla types of uh, logs. So I don't think I can do much with my jacaranda logs. Um, we could obviously look through every... Oh, chicken nest. Uh, we could look through every recipe, but who's going to do that? Uh, chests, what do we have? We do have sophisticated chests. They would be very good to, to get. Um, what makes it a sophisticated chest? A redstone torch. Cool. Okay. But I think regardless, um, at sophisticated, sophisticated chests are just like better chests. You can upgrade them. You can do some pretty cool stuff. Um, you can upgrade a vanilla chest to a sophisticated chest. So what we can do is we can use our planks from a different mod to make a vanilla chest and then eventually upgrade it. You know what I mean? Like it's not the end of the world, um, that we have these logs and not just oak logs that are right next to us. Um, all right, cool. Boom, boom. Sweet. Okay, nice. Um, so I'm going to sort out my inventory. Think for a second, catch my breath, and figure out where we're going. All right, to start us off, I think I'm... Oh, <laughs> I underestimated how much uh, food that was going to be. I imagine... Yeah, there's like flour and stuff, right? Like, you can probably... Like, if I, if I was just after bread, we could get dough from Create. But I, how far away is that? <laughs> Could we push for that today? Mm. I'd either have to get lucky with my mining or just do a bunch of mining, but no one wants to do that. Or at least not yet. Well, obviously, <laughs> we will eventually. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to check out the uh, asteroid over there and then the one over there. I'll see if I can get into them. I know that this one had um, obsidian around the core, which, you know, doesn't really... Uh, Make me feel like I can get in. But there's there's some other stuff. I might be able to get through it. Usually what... It, like, all of this is just vanilla stuff. I don't even know if this is an applied energistics um, meteorite. The water's a really cool addition. Um, it might just be a meteorite. Hmm. Oh, Okay. I don't want to fall in and then not be able to get out. That's another little... <laughs> that's just one more thing I don't really want to do. But we're definitely in. Now, in the center... Is it all just this? Oh! Okay. Well, that, that's fun. I'm going to guess that that's all that's in here. I don't know if that's a good guess, but... <laughs> Honestly... Pretty good. <laughs> um, now, I will say, again, there's lots of things being said. Oh, some iron. I'll take that. Um, it's always a bit rough getting loot early game because there is an RNG to it. You know what I mean? Oh, zinc. Oh, I think we just got lucky. Oh, a lot of zinc. This is the stuff we needed to make um, the andesite for that other stuff I was talking about. You get, um, you get nuggets of this stuff, <laughs> if I can figure that out. And combine it with the andesite for the alloys. And that's pretty much the entirety of create mod. Um, if any of this was andesite, I could make that work. You know what I'll do as well, real quick? I'm going to actually set this guy to one. Um, toggle liquid view for the one probe. What that's for is when you find some interesting liquid and you're not sure what it is, you can then press your keybind. And in the top left... It should tell you, yes. Yeah, so we're looking at crude oil. <laughs> Beautiful crude oil from Pneumatocraft. Cool. The more you know. Um, so, hey, if we want to hook that stuff up, we can. Um, okay, so some meteorites are vanilla, it looks like. So we'll head to this one real quick, see if it is um, applied energistics. It, this one looks more... Well, like the other one kind of looks more applied, but... Hmm. 
The gravel and stuff looks nice. This one feels more familiar. I, th I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Some sky stone. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to yoink this one as well. There we go. My, mine for the pickings. All right. Uh, we don't have anything to make, to, to get in there. Okay. I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. All right. So yeah. Um, what are the plans in general? Um, plan number one, get stuff. <laughs> Honestly, I, the first thing I usually go for is some sort of storage system. Um, usually, usually just, if you search terminal, you, you get to see what the good options are. We've got integrated dynamics, which is awesome, but I've never used it for storage before. So maybe then we've got applied energistics and that's it. <laughs> Interesting. I'll be honest. Oh, oh, we've got refined storage. Oh, they don't call them terminals. They call them grids. Oh, yeah, okay. Look, it, I'll, I'll be honest. It's been a few packs where I've only um, done applied energistics. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a refined storage. This stuff will store all your items. It'll do some auto crafting for you, some auto processing. It's pretty nice. Um... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. We're back here. Um, so I need some cobble and then I need to make some sticks and I need to meet you guys back at that, uh, meteorite with, with a proper tool. I could make an iron pick. Um, I, I'll do cobble for now. This guy's already, he's already found me. I, I, it's, it's a bit, I mean, Hey, I've, I've got the goods. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll probably sink to my death here, but what have you got, mate? I couldn't care less. <laughs> useless, uh, less than useless. He took my time up. This part's really nice. I definitely, I need, I need to, th I need to think of something to build through here. Even like the waterfall there. The, the future, the, the possibilities. There are a lot of mods. Um, I, well, there's not a lot, right? Because it's early days, but there's a big enough variety that I think we can still get a lot done. You know what I mean? What's this? Twigs. The Twigs mod, of course. Traveler's backpacks. Okay, yeah, that's that makes sense. What are these? These are the sophisticated. And then... We've got silent gear. That's another one I haven't messed around with for a while. Oh yeah, that could be fun too. What are these ones? Security craft. I think from security craft, I don't know if it was the security cameras we used. It might've been. They were really cool. I, I think this is what it was. You could actually look through them. Um, I'll, I'll have to see if that is there because these might be different, but there's a bunch of cool mods. Oh yeah, and then we've got all the bees. Haven't I also haven't had bees for a while. It, it, look, look, it's going to be... Oh, I just saw power on that screen. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, well, oh, actually, hold on. Interesting. No ATM star. So it is that early that we don't have an ATM star. Okay? Just in case you're wondering how early we are into the pack. Um, if you're not sure what an ATM star is... Uh, it's like an end game item, um, specific to all the mods and it lets you do some pretty cool stuff. That's a sword. Um, oh, we need an iron pick. We can't just, we can't mine this. I did notice that it said level iron, but I thought that meant like the mining level to mine iron, but I guess, yeah, I guess that makes more sense. Sure. All right. Well, lucky we brought the stuff. Let's head on in. It's still going to take a while. I may just dig up the entire thing. How does that sound? So we're, we're going to mine up 64 blocks of the stuff. Um, it's going to use up a lot of our pickaxe, but small price to pay for laziness, I, I guess. Um, how long is this episode? 26. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. And we get, we, okay. So we get budding crystals because that's a thing nowadays. And then in the middle, we get the mysterious cube, the cube. And so that we can dig up. Um, but I think I want to be able to get into it or at least, yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> One second, please. 
It's okay. I realized I was using the wrong pickaxe. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right, mysterious cube. I'm gonna dig this up, and that's gonna give us oh one of each. Bingo! A calculation press, an engineering press, a logic press, and a silicon press. These guys let you do quite a bit in um, what do we call them? <laughs> Applied energistics. And they allow you to make more of themselves if you put like a block of um, iron in with them. Um, so essentially you can make more for yourself or even more for friends if you want to, you know, slap some some cubes around, I guess. But what's the point of this? Hold W to open guide. Oh, I haven't, se I haven't seen this before. The mysterious cube. Remember when you had to find a bunch of meteorites to find all the presses? No more. Now meteorites come with a mysterious cube. I wonder what happens when you break it without silk touch. You can also make a replica, the not so mysterious cube, and you get four of them? Hmm. Okay. I, yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll head back down. Uh, well, actually, no. I was going to look up in this meteorite. Was there any signs of andesite? Andesite looks like stone when you don't see it. And then when you see it, you're like, oh, that's andesite. So you always have to look around. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to have to go start a mine. We're, we're going to have to get cooking, get a mine set up, um, and see if we can find some andesite. If, if I want to try and make um, what I want to make this episode. But it's quite ambitious. I've, that's andesite right down there. Don't, never mind. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty good here. We're pretty situated. I, I can actually get so much done. We've got wheat. I could set up a little uh, farm if we wanted to as well. I, I might do that first because, I mean, the andesite's not going anywhere. Oh, God. I could even, I could just borrow, um, I could borrow his leads. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I'll just ask him. I'll, I'll ask him off camera. It was a, <clears throat> it was a pleasure doing business with you. Um, thank you for the leads. Oh, there should be another one on the ground. By the way, that sound, I'll I'll get rid of it, okay? The sound of of this, I'll I'll, I'll sort that out. That's that's a that's a me thing. I, I can I'm sorry. <laughs> oh there we go. Um <clears throat> Thanks for the leather as well, mate. <laughs> um <laughs> anyway. I, you need to stop. Okay, okay. I, I, I solved it. Um if you happen to be using the physics mod, jump in the settings, sounds, it's the top one. Slam that to zero and, and your ears can have a rest. Um, cool. Yeah. So, uh, as I was saying, let's go ahead and make... Oh, one question I do have. Oh, no framed blocks. Okay. We, we are in the latest version of Minecraft. So, stuff like that is, I guess, to be expected. But, you know, I love me. I love me my frame blocks. Um, Jacaranda fences. We'll give these a shot. Um, I'll keep some of the logs. I don't really know how far away we ran from them. So, I don't, I don't really know you know, what the demand's looking like for them. Um, 21 we've got. What do you reckon? Over here, sort of by the water-ish. There we go. That works. <laughs> um, and then we'll just go like, just not, just nice and simple. You know, plenty of room to run around. Um, but only like, only where I tell them. <laughs> I guess. How's this? Is that perfect? I believe. It is. Brilliant. Okay, so we only need two of them. Guys? Guys? <laughs> Alright, we've got one over here. Um and who's your friend? This guy? Yeah. Hopefully Yeah, no. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> Over hopefully he's not with you guys. <laughs> we'll say that much. Alright, come on. Come on. And here, you can even have Yeah. Oh, uh, that's too many roses, but you, you can have some of them. All right, sweet. Close that up. Grab these back. And pleasure doing business with you. Cool. Um, I'll sleep, and then we'll go get the andesite, and then I I guess we'll get started with create. Uh, look, look, I know I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's pretty good, especially early game. Um, and if you get comfortable with it, like setting up cre uh, create machines, just using create, it's very powerful. Um. It's genuinely just that it's a little bit scary, I guess, because it because you have to do a lot of the work um, to set up the machines. Um, that's not a lot of andesite. 
18 andesite? Oh, I guess it mined up all the stone. It didn't just grab andesite. As I had hoped. Um, I mean, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, 18 will do. We can, we can make it work. What's this stuff? Sprout. Whole new world. Get some of those caves. Beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. It, it should be good. It, it'll be nice. I, I'm honestly, I'm mainly excited just for, just for some updates. You know what I mean? Just some, just new content coming to the game. It, it is nice to jump in early for that reason, but obviously, you know, you have to pay the price, but I, I, th I think I want to pay the price. <laughs> I, th I, th I think I'm ready. All right. Two furnaces to keep the bed warm. Um, this one's going to smelt up zinc, courtesy of our coal. Can we get tiny coal? Oh, fire for standing torch or tiny coal. Uh, I'll take the tiny coal. <laughs> um, tiny coal is worth the same amount as coal's worth, but you get like eight for the price of one, right? So I can chuck a stack in here. And we don't waste any coal. There's no um, burn time wasted because one tiny coal equals one smelted item. Um, which might be obvious to some of you, but regardless, it's it's pretty good. Um, we do have some iron. Got some copper. I, I'll smelt up the iron. Might as well. We're not doing anything else with it. We'll get that cooked up. Um, we don't need that much. So that's probably enough already, but we'll let the rest cook. We're going to turn that and this into andesite alloy um, sort of ingots, I guess. We'll get rid of the rest of that. <laughs> Already, the storage looks wonderful, doesn't it? Um, we will be taking the wood because there is some stuff we need to do. Um, so, first thing we're going to need is a piece of wood stripped and then given an andesite alloy to turn it into an andesite casing. We have now begun. Um, <laughs> so, if I want to actually make my um, millstone once this little banner disappears... This guy here, because that'll allow me to turn, um, if you remember, um, our wheat into um, wheat flour. And then we can turn that into dough just by adding some water. And then that into bread from one piece of wheat, right? So we're going to triple our wheat efficiency by making this thing. Um, we'll need a cobblestone. Um, um, I think it needs to be like a stone, but it can be like a granite or something. Um, and a cogwheel. So the cogwheel is going to be a shaft and a jungle plank. And to do shafts, it's two of these alloys in the crafting grid. And that gives you that. Add a plank. And we have a cogwheel. Cool. Um, so I now need a stone. We we used a lot of it up. I might be able to use skystone in its place. I'll bring blackstone as well and see if either of those work. Um, and what was that for? Oh, that was just for that recipe. Yeah, no. It, it doesn't want them. <laughs> um... Ah, we'll just smelt up a stone. I mean, like, one tiny coal for the price of being able to do stuff. Who wouldn't? All right, cool. Stone, awesome. Millstone. Oh, millstone. Here we go. You know what mod I got used to? There's an add-on that lets you hold control and click on things in, uh, in JEI or in your bookmarks, and it will put the recipe in here if you have the stuff, or it'll try to put the recipe in. I really got used to that because it's just like, once you do get used to it, it's a whole extra little click that you don't have to do. Whenever I say these things, half the, like, like pretty much all the mods I've mentioned are like client side mods. You know what I mean? That you can just add to your client yourself. Um, either that or because we are literally in the latest Minecraft, 1.20.1. I think that's latest. Um, it might, it just might not be updated. Uh, but hey, we have a millstone. Here it is. So I can place this guy down um, anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. For example, I can place it down right <laughs> anywhere. Right here. There it is. Millstone. Cool. By itself, it does nothing. Now, we need to make this guy spin. And to do that, you have two options. Underneath it, if I pick it up, um, I can show you. There is a shaft that you can connect to. And if you spin that, the thing will spin. Alternatively, you can spin the actual um, cogwheel that it's made up of. And that's what we're going to at least try to aim for. Um, to do that, we're going to grab a large cogwheel. Uh, we're actually going to grab two of these. So we'll do that. One of these cogwheels we want to turn into a water wheel. So we're going to surround it with planks. Um, 
Are we? No, we're not. How do you make a water wheel? Sorry, some recipes have changed. <laughs> How do I make a water wheel? They still exist, right? Wow! Oh, it's a, it's a whole new world. <laughs> there's, there's water wheels, and now there's large water wheels. Oh, oh, it's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. What, what else is new? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. There's so much. I don't know what else is new. I mean, like looking at this, everything looks the same, but I wouldn't have seen these two things anyway. Oh, that's, that's cool. Okay, so a water wheel is planks and a shaft, and a large water wheel is a water wheel with planks. Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay, so we will make the water wheel. Here it is. What does it look like? Oh, it looks awesome. Oh, they've, they've done, they've done a good job. Oh, that looks, that looks really neat. Okay. Do I make the large water wheel? I mean, I, whoa. Don't break the water wheel. <laughs> Guys, please, <laughs> please don't, don't, don't break the water wheel. I'm telling you, don't break the water wheel. The water wheel is a lie. The, what have I done? I assume I've crashed my game. Most likely due to my shaders. That's that's usually what happens here, right? Usually if there's an issue, it's something I've done. Maybe it's my physics mod. Um, it could, honestly, honestly, the, <laughs> you'd be surprised just how many things may have just gone wrong. The fact that I'm not at, like, I'm not at my desktop right now. I'm literally seeing a black screen just like you guys. Um, but in saying that, my laptop has stopped its roaring fans, which means that the game's not running anymore, despite um, claiming it is. Uh, how long has the episode been? 40 minutes? Oh, um, <laughs> I, can't, I don't have a screenshot. I can't wrap it up there. I'll, I'll be back. All right. Um, luckily, the pack loads pretty quickly. You'll have to apologize the lag um, as I load back into the world. B because the pack is new and there's not that many mods, um, it loads pretty quickly. I, don't, I still don't know what to think of what just happened, but I'm just going to upgrade it because surely, surely the bigger one's not going to break, right? So we now have, oh, it looks, look at it in my hand. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, you, you're not ready for this. Um, I didn't even know where to place it. Oh, I wonder. What? <laughs> I thought, look, I thought it was going to be like just double the size. That's like quadruple the size. Oh, that's awesome. I'm scared to break it, but I have to. It's in a horrible spot. Okay, I'll meet you guys back in a few minutes. <laughs> God damn it. All right, we're back. <laughs> We've got our item. Awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, th there's honestly... I I I've, I'm like trying to think of what the issue could be. Because obviously, the item on the ground isn't the problem. The item in my hand isn't the problem. It's right as it gets broken. And... The only thing I can think of is the physics mod, right? This guy, he breaks stuff. He's pretty simply, he breaks stuff, stuff breaks. He's a pretty simple guy. Um, it's possible that's what's happening, right? It's possible just as it breaks the fit, because, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it makes sense. I don't know if there's a way to, like, toggle this off. Like, if I search water wheel, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can, like, stop it from breaking. Um, oh, that's so weird. Why is there like Xnet stuff, but no, just create water wheels? Or do I have to search create? Oh, here we go. Water. Okay. Interesting. So I wonder if I can just sort of like turn this guy off. You know what I mean? Just just make it not do it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, it's an issue for another day. Alternatively, um, flywheel backend off. That sometimes fixes stuff. So I'll just turn that off in hopes that it fixes it in the future. But what, what I'll do here is I'll try to just place it right to begin with. Um, now, this thing is massive, so I'm going to be placing it pretty much here. Um, the question would be if I would like to do anything else. I, I think literally right at this block is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and place a shaft here if I can. Hmm. It might be harder than I thought. I want it to be... You ready? Boom, like that. Oh, perfect. And then I want to place this guy on there. So, um, hmm. 
clear blocks. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, uh, that works. That works. All right, the water wheel exists. All I need now is the water on the wheel. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Luckily, we do have iron. We even smelted up some iron that we... I guess that was the iron that we smelted. Yeah, we've got three iron there. Um, so, in theory, I grab water. And I get it flowing. Hmm. As beautiful as this tree is, it sadly has to go because I need to do some jumping jacks. Um. Oh! It's, it's, I w look, I won't say it's beautiful because what I've done has definitely tarnished the beauty, but it works. Oh, it's, oh, it's wonderful. Okay, okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to dig this up right up to this block here. And we're going to place shafts all the way there. Um, right there specifically. That's actually the only place I wanted to go. We will need more, but not for the reason you possibly think. I'll double check the recipe. But I want a gearbox. Specifically a vertical one, which needs a normal one. Which needs four cogwheels and an inside casing. And we know how they work. So one, two, three, four. Cool. We'll grab the log out. We'll grab that guy out. So log, strip it. And so I alloy it and then pickaxe or axe it. Cool. And then surround that guy with the cogwheels like so to get a gearbox. Craft that guy again to get a vertical gearbox. So this guy is going to go right here. And so as you can see, he takes that rotational energy that's coming in horizontally and he spits it out the top. What we do next is we simply place a large cogwheel. And we have movement. How cool is that? Now, it is slow. Okay. It is. That, that's all. <laughs> I don't have a follow-up. It's just, it's slow. That's, we could speed it up. You know what? Hey, if we're going to end it on some create, let's speed this guy up. Um, in terms of how fast it is, I guess we could show it off with wheat. I drop wheat in. You can see it grind stuff. And there you go. That's how long it takes to turn one wheat into a wheat flour. Let's try and speed this guy up and see if we can uh, see the benefit, I guess. Um, so, we're going to need a small cogwheel. We're going to need a large cogwheel and then probably another small cogwheel. And then, <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we can get this to work or at least somehow look nice. Now, if I break this, is it, it going to yell at me? Hmm... Okay, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> and we got a little spinning top. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's oh, that was really cool. Um, okay, cool. We'll pretend that everything's fine. I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna pick you up. And I'm gonna pick you up. And I'm gonna pick you up as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this large water wheel to oh yeah, there we go. To a cogwheel. From there, we're gonna attach the the large cogwheel to a small cogwheel. And what you'll notice is this guy. That specifically the shaft spins faster than this guy, right? And it'll be much more noticeable the further we go. So now we attach another large cogwheel onto that shaft. So it's now spinning faster. You should be able to see that's easily faster, this one, compared to that one. But we can just keep going. So now that's going even faster. We can attach that to another small cogwheel if we want to. Blah, 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 blah. Um, alternatively, we can try to bring this guy over here. Place the vertical gearbox there. Then place the large cogwheel here. And two things happen. One is awesome. We've got it spinning again. But two is this is another small cogwheel. So this big cogwheel spins this guy even faster again. And now, if you somehow remembered how long it took, let's watch. Come on. Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. That was pretty fast. Um, so I can drop the full stack in there and it'll grind away. That's it. That's all she wrote. Um, on top of that, by the way, in terms of the One Probe, I think the One Probe has actual tools. So it's possible that you need these to do the things that I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Maybe. I, I don't really know. Because you should be able to see what's in stuff as well when you um, crouch. But I don't know if that's an add-on or a config or, or whatever it is. Um, so anyway, wheat flour. What do we need to do? 
two options. One is apparently you can just put it in stuff already. That's pretty cool. Uh, two is you can put it in front of a fan that's blowing water and it'll turn it into dough. That's what we'll do eventually, right? It'll happen. I'll bookmark it. I'll press A to bookmark it. Um, but if we look through the millions of options, one of the options is this here. Dough with a water bucket. We've got a bucket. We've got our wheat flour. We don't really have water up top. So maybe I'll just try to make a quick infinite water source up here. Um, but then what we can do is I can just craft these together and you keep the bucket so you, you know you don't lose it um, and we can turn all of our wheat into dough and then we can smelt our dough into bread beautiful can we smelt our bread into toast? we can and you get more from it? you do um, let's do that yeah, we may as well why not? But yeah, look, bread, cool. Can I smelt my toast into like more toast? <laughs> no, no, we can butter it. That's that's apparently an option. There's a few options in here. You can put Iva, Ajva, Ajva toast. Of course. Toast with jam? How do you make this stuff? Oh, yeah, no. Not, not a clue how to pronounce it. I was like, maybe it's a fruit, you know? And it would give me some sort of idea on, <laughs> on how I'm meant to approach the word. Um, but yeah, how cool is that? Our first little contraption. I love the look of the gears as well. It's so satisfying. And, and I feel like the the actual gears themselves look better. Am I crazy? I think they changed them. I think they did because they, they fit really nicely with this. There's something extra satisfying about them in this version. I think that little extra divot. Surely that's new. Am I crazy? I might be I might be stretching here. I know that this is new. This giant water wheel is definitely new. I'm, I'm really happy about that. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'll tell you what. I reckon we can wrap this episode up. Um, oh, look at the ominous. It's like an Assassin's Creed character, you know, sitting over there. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I think that's it. I think we're good for this episode. I feel accomplished. I feel like... I, I'm feeling good about it. I, I, I will say, <laughs> it's towards the end, so I don't, I don't feel bad uh, changing the vibes a bit. Playing all the mod 7, extremely fun. Obviously, all the mod 6, extremely fun. I mean, even MC Eternal, that was crazy fun. Um, pretty much, it, most packs have been fun. <laughs> There's been some that just aren't my style. Um, all the mod 7 was really fun, but it switched sort of into all the mods 8. Uh, they... they they crossed over a bit at the same time, I think because the Minecraft versions clashed a bit, like uh, 1.17 and 1.18, I think that was the difference, maybe? I think so. Um, and, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I, I, what I should have done in hindsight was convert my All The Mods 7 series into All The Mods 8, you know what I mean? Like bring some stuff over to the new server, um, like give myself a head start. And, and, and continue the pack out on there rather than sticking to all the mod seven. That's what should have happened, but it didn't. And then all the mods eight was still going strong for so long. And, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get into it at least not right after doing all the mods uh, seven. Um, and so we've done one or two, I think we've done like three packs in between there. We did Gravitas, all the mods Gravitas. That was pretty fun. It was, it was something new, <laughs> it was very grindy, but, but it was, I mean, it was fun. Um, I jumped back into crash landing. That was incredibly fun. I, I'm incredibly happy that I did that. Not just for, because it was fun, but because it's such an old pack. I wasn't sure if it would get views on my, on my um channel. To be honest, like, like that was just one of the things as well. I'm like, I don't think people are gonna watch this. I'll play like seven episodes of it. I'll have my fun and move on. But people were watching, and I'm like, oh, that's that's awesome because I I feel like that's they're there for me. You know, I mean, they're probably there for the pack, but it's like. No one's promoting uh, Crash Landing. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's promoting all the mods. Everyone's promoting, you know, these big mod packs that come out. Um, but Crash Landing, it's, it's had its time. It's, it's in the past. And yet, people still, you know, I was able to bring that traffic in somehow. And, and that was really, that, that was just good for the, the mental. You know what I mean? That was like, okay, all right. We're good. We're, you know, we're, we're good. We're good. We're not burnt out. We're having fun. It's, it's good. We're good again. Um, then plexiglass, that, that, it, it was just fun. It, it was nice. I jumped back in it and 
no offense to plexiglass, but it left me wanting, it left me wanting to come back. And I'm back. <laughs> I turn, I turn this into just like the most emotional thing you've ever seen. Cue the music, like in the arms of an angel. I'm <laughs> sorry. I look, look, I won't lie. I've got like some sound uh, noise canceling headphones. I don't know what that sounded like. Um, I, I couldn't tell if my voice was raspy there or if it genuinely was that of an angel. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, uh, to the ATM team. He's still just standing there. Mate, move it on. Jeez. You'd think he'd lost his llamas or something. <laughs> his alpacas, whatever they <laughs> Whatever they are, because they're still there. <clears throat> Thank you to the ATM team. Thank you to, um, the... Mods developers for literally every single mod that we've got in here um, Because there are a lot and then obviously um, I mean that's inherent when I'm thanking all the mods, you know, I'm thanking the devs and the people building these mods obviously um, <laughs> But it's nice to say and on top of that Thank you to the extra few mods that I added personally <laughs> um, And then of course, thank you to you guys watching the video. Hopefully you have had fun. I Obviously you, if you made it this far, I guess you did so good on you I'm probably talking to just a few of the people who normally watch the channel. I, I'd imagine there's a few people here because first episode of a series does well. First episode of an all the mods series. Well, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I don't want to get my hopes up, but look, it's fun. <laughs> and, and the people, the people know it. I do, God, it's so awkward. I made this outro take way too long. It's, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Thank you to our donators and our channel members, of course. Thank you, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys are still having fun. Don't feel pressured to donate or, or or become a channel member, regardless of if you already are one. You guys know that, but obviously, I need to make it clear. The server that we're playing on, the servers that we have for other mod packs, the videos themselves, they will happen regardless. Um, YouTube and the money I make from you guys watching ads um, supports that enough. So thank you guys for doing that. Um, don't feel pressured to, do, to donate. You, do, you don't need to. Um, but I do appreciate the donations. Thank you. Um, and yeah, yeah, I, I, th I think that's good. I think that's good to, to be said. Um, and so I said it. <laughs> that's, that's how that works. That's pretty cool. Um, am I good? Am I done? I'm, it's still grinding them up, so it's not that fast. We could probably speed it up a bit more. Um, oh, look at the little fish. I don't know. I'm just standing. I don't want to end it. I don't want to end the episode. <laughs> I feel like I feel like there was something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, the, the server I'm on. All right. So most of the time we're hosting servers on our own hardware. This server is hosted on Bisect Hosting. Oh, on yeah, on Bisect. Um, they they've partnered with me. This is a free server they've given me. Um, yeah. I don't do. I don't know how it works. Obviously, I'm if I'm mentioning the server. I guess, well, I don't really know. You know what I mean? Like, do I need to be mentioned? I, I think I do need to be mentioning that, but it's also like, specifically with all the mods, they've got their own like server partnership. And so I didn't want to start the episode with, hey guys, welcome, here's my partner. No one wants to hear that, but it's like, hmm. Because I'll be honest, most of the other series, I think maybe... I don't think when I've been playing on them, they've been hosted on Bisect. Um, they've been hosted on our own hardware um, most of the time. And so, yeah, I don't really know the proper etiquette. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because <laughs> arguably, I think I'm meant to have hashtag ad in the title. But I, th I, I think that's if it's like, I don't know. I, I don't know how it works with things like servers, especially when... You know what I mean? Like, it's not really a product. It's more of a service. Like, for, yeah, actually, no. I don't think it matters. Because I don't have to start this video with, like, hey, guys, um, my energy company gave me a deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, or, hey, guys, this is a... I'm, I'm on, but I guess if it was free, maybe maybe I'd have to tell... If my energy company was giving me my electricity for free, I'd probably have to tell you. <laughs> I don't... Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, I need the thumbnail. Um...
Is that, that's that's heavy for a thumbnail. Hmm. Well, I'll I'll like tease it in the corner. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Goodbye.